this is the first lighthouse in the U.S. to become a museum. It's a great piece of history. Uh, the building was built in 1840. I think it is really uh, special to be able to just walk right up and be able to come in. And then, of course, the area here is so beautiful. Once again, there's a chance to step up in Stonington. <laughs> Officially, 29 steps. As museums across the country face closures due to COVID-19, here, a bright spot. The Lighthouse Museum has been restored and is reopening. Amy Newell is the executive director of the Stonington Historical Society. This uh, moment is kind of exciting to be able to have people come in and really see the building and really kind of get a sense of what it was like when the lighthouse keepers and their families were living in there. With close to one and a half million dollars worth of work, the Lighthouse will greet guests again under pandemic protocols. One of the things I really like about working at a small museum is the importance of local history and how much we can learn from that. It's a way to think about today's challenges uh, from a different perspective. This was built to weather the storm and looking ahead, that's what they'll continue to do. It is a challenging time, but it is exciting too. And what we really want is people to appreciate and love that history as much as we do, because we need all of, we need everybody, we need our whole community to say this is important and we want to keep going. And the Lighthouse Museum is on the National Register of Historic Places. It is open Fridays and Saturdays to start from 11 to 3 p.m. We'll put all the information on our website at fox61.com and on the Fox 61 News app. In Stonington, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.